What's up everybody, Derek Ting here. All right, so I recently bought this ring light and uh, I'm back in Hong Kong and um, some of you know, Hong Kong's quarters are quite small, a um, lot less spacious than somewhere like LA. Um, and so uh, I'm always looking for compact solutions to store my equipment, bring my equipment, set up, and then also do these like YouTube videos. Um, so I figured I'd test it out. And, uh, you know, recently there's an announcement about the Canon EOS R5. And so um, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to even just talk about that, my predictions, my thoughts. And so this video, it will be about that. But definitely you can take a look at uh, this simple lighting setup and see if it's right for you. Uh, I'm going to put it up and then I'll be watching it even myself and saying, okay, well, is this, is this good? Or, um, you know, do I like it? Because, um, you know, this is for... Uh, like a room that maybe you're setting up that has multiple pur purposes, um, you know, so, uh, and that's pretty much what you have to do when you're in Hong Kong is that like rooms have multiple purposes. It's all about um, economizing and uh, maximizing your space. All right, so let's talk about the Canon EOS R5. Um, so, you know, as I mentioned, I actually did a video about this when it first came out about the, the EOS R5. Um, that because uh, um, I had just recently worked with 8K in uh, for the red camera, and you know, I specifically was looking for um, slow motion in 4K, uh, 120 frames per second at least, um, and then uh, yeah, and having the ability with 8K to crop in. Um, so when I heard about that announcement, it was exciting, but there weren't that many details. And so recently they came up with details and they were quite mind boggling. Um, you know, so it's 8K video and they're not going to crop the sensor. And if you're not very familiar with this, if you're not very technical, um, you know that um, what it basically means is that, um, you know, if your sensor is this, you know, grabbing this picture, um, let's say the sensor size is this size then uh you know the and the lens may actually like chop it down to here you know that's just basically crop it'll make the frame smaller to achieve maybe the 8k or that's just how it is when it records video um there's multiple reasons why they do it um but you know cropping has always been something then since this introduction of dslr filmmaking has been something where you know you're you have to calculate what focal length the lens you're really using. So like maybe your camera has 1.66 crop and then you have a lens that's 50 millimeters. Well, you can't just say, oh, I'm shooting on 50. I'm actually shooting on, I don't know, 70 or something like that. You know what I mean? So, and I even get that confused. And so if you're changing lenses all the time, then that's just a pain in the butt. Um, especially throughout your work day, you're tired. Um, and, uh, you know, you just want to know is, 50 going to yield 50. Um, so anyway, um, that was an exciting announcement for most filmmakers to hear that, that you could shoot 8K and it's going to be uncropped because that's just going to mean more information captured and then, um, and then it's going to be, um, not cropped. So you're not calculating anything. So, and then therefore the lenses that you're, um, using, especially if you're shooting wide, then like if you have a 15 millimeter focal length, it's going to yield a 15 millimeter focal length. And so you can, um, you know, you can get some really, really wide shots as well. Um, so, uh, that was quite interesting. And then obviously for the slow motion 4k, 120 frames per second, there's very, very, very few, uh, DSLRs that can do it. If any that I can think of, um, but you know, you have the pocket cinema camera that is achieving 2.8K, 120 frames per second, just to put it in perspective. Um, but most, if not all DSLRs are shooting HD, 1920 by 1080, uh, 120 frames per second, and not giving us that, um, that uh, higher frame rate at 4K. So that's super exciting. Now, the thing is though, what does that really mean for you? Well, to most people, I don't think that this is going to really make a difference or matter to you. Um, because if you're, for example, a YouTuber, you're still going to be shooting in HD. I think, I think you should, because you just don't want to, um, manage the file size 
for one. I mean, that's the biggest thing. Then the cost of shooting an 8K, I mean, uh, it's going to be astronomical because you're going to buy a lot of these. Um, you have to factor in not only the cost of the camera, but the cost of the media that you have to buy. So CF, um, CF cards, UHS-2 cards, all those, those are very, very expensive. It's like, I think I spent like $250 just to use a UHS-2 card and it was 128 gigs. And that's 128 gigs is not going to last you at long at all. Um, actually, I mean, um, when we shot for the day using the red helium 8k for one of my action sequences on ancient revelation um i think just for the day it was almost like 500 gigs so you're going to go through four cards so automatically that's a thousand us dollars with worth of media um and then uh i don't i'm not even sure what the cf um express cards cost because i actually didn't think that you need to really thing is ideal to buy those and um and i don't have a camera that uses that uses that um so uh you can imagine though if you're adding on top of that just the media and then the number of hard drives to back that up if you're going on a long shoot it's just gonna like compound all the potential errors that you're gonna run into and all the um data that you're gonna have to manage and then um and then compound that with, um, you know, yes, my I have like the maxed out MacBook Pro, but like, um, you know, trying to edit on that, it was fine. It was totally fine. But it's, uh, you know, an 8K movie is a beast to, to manage. So, um, you know, you better have some really good hardware um, to manage that. So, again, so, so what I'm thinking is, you know, the number of feature filmmakers out there um that are consistently working and making a living and having a career in this you know it's in the thousands of people i would say maybe 10 let's say just say 10,000 filmmakers um so there's probably more <laughs> I, I you know I, I don't know how many there are i know on like a facebook of like independent filmmaker um there's about 2,000 people that are like producers that are making films so, um, yeah, so to me, I don't think that it's going to make a huge difference. So if you were thinking about buying a camera right now, what I would probably do is if you're, for example, a YouTuber is just buy the Canon EOS R or buy a Sony camera too. Or, you know, I mean, I think the Sonys do a good job as well. Um, and then, you know, where you're going to put your money is, um, the lenses. Um, cause that makes a huge difference, I think. So, um, but then, you know, and then as you, as you go up, as you go up, is it, will it be worth the investment? Um, yeah, totally. If you're, if you're playing in that league, um, so, and will it save you a lot of times? Yeah. Um, if you're playing in that league, but, and, you know, so that's, you know, that's, I think that's in the nutshell that, um, you know, is it groundbreaking? Is it going to be awesome? Yes. But the number of people who are actually going to use this camera, not that many. And so um, if you're, like I said, if you're a YouTuber right now, or um, if you're even just making short films, you probably don't need this camera. Um, and so, and you may even, and you may even think, and a lot of filmmakers are still, you know, they want to use Ari anyway. So, um, so I think in summary though, one, it's going to be awesome and groundbreaking, but um, it's not going to really matter to most people. Um, but uh, here's the thing, though, that I think is the most interesting takeaway, because I've noticed Apple has finally said, hey, like, I'm going to start giving consumers what they want and not um, limiting, um, you know, holding back. And I think that's finally what Canon is waking up to is that like they've seen how a lot of other manufacturers and new manufacturers have just come into play and they're starting to um, make some phenomenal equipment for much less. So um, I can see that, you know, them, if they don't give you something that's pushes the limits and is not like um, really like 
looking out for the consumer, then they're just they're gonna they're gonna be eradicated by um, you know another competitor that we've never heard of, much like um, Kodak, which was the you know the guys who did film, um, and you know what happened to that company, right? So um, you know they're just a memory, you know. But for the time that they were, you know, film was everyone shooting on film. I mean, they were making tons and tons of money. So um, it's exciting times. And, uh, you know, that's, um, that's, uh, that's very exciting for, um, I think, film or filmmakers that are pushing the edge. And uh, the ones that understand technology, which this is really what my channel is about, um, is... Um, really understanding how to tell a story and leveraging technology um, to make the best product possible so that you're not wasting um, money. You're giving the... the I, I, I try to give my audience the most important stuff for the time and the money that I have. Um, and that's... Uh, I think that is ultimately what people want. So, um, all right. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. Um, I uh, really enjoy uh, catching up with you guys. I hope you're all staying safe during this time. And uh, I hope you'll subscribe and like my videos because I'll be coming out with more videos, as you can see. It's all going to be different types. Um, I've started filling out some of my editing, editing tutorials. But, um, you know, I'll be coming up with behind the scenes on Agent Revelation, what I did uh, with my team and, and, you know, what was the process and uh, other great content that I'm uh, excited to share with you. So, um, all right. Well, I will talk to you next time. So, later.